Sometimes humans are better. Humans are better, that's right. <laughs> Call me. Hey guys, this is Dana from Snowvio Labs. We are here with Michelle from Adriel. Hi Michelle. Hi, hi. Uh, can you please tell us about your company? What do you do? So Adriel is our marketing, marketing agent that does everything automatic for you. So when it comes to digital advertising, uh, you want to run it on Google Ads or Facebook Ads, Adriel will do everything for you, take care of everything. So what we need from you is actually every small little details about what kind of business you do, or what kind of uh, customer you want to target. Then within one second right away, Adriel will come up with a proposal, right keywords, right location, what is the budget for every day. And once you're okay with it, just click launching and that's when the special optimization will take place. So every day uh, Adria will try to learn about what is the best strategy for your business. He will send out and try different uh, keywords every day, hundreds of different keywords. Whatever that gets more reaction, he will put more money in there. Whatever platform, if, uh, if, if Google works better than Facebook, he will automatically put more money on Google than Facebook. So he'll try to help small little business who doesn't have a lot of budget to spend it on digital agency because they have a minimum budget requirement and they don't have time to learn all this thing by themselves they have to go to the Google and learn it by themselves we want to help, we want to help these people uh, to simply make marketing very easy for them there's no budget requirement you can spend hundred dollar ten dollar one dollar with us our goal is to optimize whatever dollar that you put with us and then we help to make the marketing as easy as possible and how many people do you have on the team we have about 11 people so far. We have about five engineers um, composed of uh, French people because our CTO, CTO is a French and our CEO Sophie is a Korean lady. Uh, they're a very nice, sweet couple. <laughs> yeah, then they're, right now we are based in Seoul. We are in a Facebook uh, accelerator program. Uh, then next year we're gonna focus on getting Series A funding. Um, and I wanted to ask you because this idea is pretty innovative and it covers a pretty huge field of marketing, do you think maybe one day your project can replace the marketer as we know them? So we got a lot of challenges from uh, people already on are you trying to replace humans because sometimes humans are better. Humans are better, that's right. But we are trying to help startups who don't have money to hire people or who don't have time to actually engage an agency. So all these people, they, they want to sell their product but they don't know how or where to sell. We're just trying to help these small little startups out there. Yeah. And uh, because you're based between two countries, is that right? Uh, uh, so how does your team work? Do you have any special team management techniques? Well, uh, well we are all based in Seoul, so within, internally we don't have a problem. But the great thing is that even though most of our customers are from uh, US or Europe, um, our soft is a software. We are selling software as a service. So there's not much geographical challenge right there. Our team is, uh, support team is on the telecom 24 seven. So I don't think uh, it's a great challenge so far, but we're hoping to maybe move our headquarter maybe one day to the US or Europe. So if there's any investor out there who wanna buy us, uh, I mean not buy us, but invest in us, uh, we are always here. Uh, and do you uh, prefer some sort of uh, innovative marketing strategies or do you usually go with the usual? Uh, right now what we are trying to do is to create a lot of logic for different business strategies. So for example, if it's a cosmetic, uh, if our client is a cosmetic startup, we we'll create a logic such as there will be a lot of demand from the Southeast Asia right now because right now the purchasing power over there is going up. A lot of women are looking for a brightening skincare effect or anything that got to do with their skin. So we're trying to recommend them to try this market instead of their uh, favorite market in the US or Korea. Then uh, Adrian will try to see whether that logic is true. If that logic is true, he will spend more money on those markets. If it's not true, he will try other markets out there. Whatever that gets more reaction, he will put more money in there. Um, for, and then another example would be uh, B2B. If you want to sell your legal service online, it's not a good idea to uh, use uh, Facebook mobile or Instagram mobile to advertise. Most people will be looking up legal service on the desktop, so Google maybe is a better idea than Facebook. We're trying to test out a lot of different logic like this at the moment, and Adriel is not perfect yet, but we're trying to make it smarter. So once all these logics are established and more sophisticated, I think at the end of the day, we're going to come up with a whole new uh, marketing engine for people to use. Yeah. And what has been the biggest challenge so far with the product or maybe the development of the product? Uh, is to get enough people to sign up so that we can get more data for us to learn. 
So Andrew can only grow when there's enough data for him to process and learn. So right, that's why we launched the beta last week so that more people will sign up and give us some of the campaigns that we can learn from. So we need more data. And what would you say is the number one advice for anyone who wants to launch their startup to start their own business? Do you have any advice? I think is to be, first thing is to get more confident in what you're doing. I mean, everybody wants to make money, want to be successful, but at the end of the day, uh, what's really important is to be more confident on what you're selling. Um, and for that, it's not very easy. Thank you so much for the interview. Welcome. Have a great day.